All right. So it is the week of Christmas, and we're not doing a pod, obviously. And we're doing something we've never done before, and we're doing a very unconventional, like, I, I don't know how to describe what we're doing, Chris. We're playing dice game as uh, we're giving two sets away this week, this weekend for two lucky fans who have checked out the Tiger Mind report. And uh, yeah, so this is something we've never done before. Hopefully, so pardon the technical issues if anybody's watching. I don't know if anybody will watch this evening, but we could have, we can hope either way. We'll it's the uh, and... inaugural Tigers Radio Festivus Classic. Yeah, it's the Festivus Classic. Yeah, there we go. We're going to play a double header as I will be the 2014 Detroit Tigers and Chris will be the 1991 Tigers as we will also be keeping because you know us, we're going to keep stats and what have you. So somehow, some way we're going to keep stats and, but either way, so we're going to play dice. I know usually for streaming things, you play video games, but this is, we're kind of older. So this is new to us, but I saw this place online at Itzy that sold these things. And there's another one too. That I thought they would look phenomenal. So you can look at the quality here. Um, we have the we have dice cam. So Chris has dice cam uh, uh, Masasuka, and I have just regular dice cam. So there's just Chris's, and then he wrote on the back Tiger Miley Report. So whoever wins this, two lucky fans will get that on the back. So but yeah, or if you want the Tiger Miley logo on there, if you want. So yeah, I know it was. Uh, this was a very nice surprise that came in the mail from you, Rahelio. I appreciate it. Happy holidays. Happy uh, holidays. Yeah, and, and I guess we should explain the rules. It's yes, not all that hard Chris. to follow. Basically, you roll the dice, and what comes up is the outcome. So you can see there some of the various outcomes. The only thing we really need to stress here, we've decided a couple of house rules because sometimes you can roll a double play or a sacrifice fly, and we decided that you don't actually need to have somebody on base for the double play to count for two outs. But, and we did decide this, right, Riley, that, that a sacrifice fly only counts if you actually have somebody on base. That's correct, yep. And obviously, if a sacrifice fly is the third out, it's just a pop-out. Correct, so, yep. I think those are the only, you know, kind of quirks we might have to deal with, but I'm sure something will come up during the course of the game. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll be multitasking as much as I can. There's comments will be flying in. And, oh, uh, yeah, we're Van Gogh, by the way, breaking out my ancient, my ancient Stratomatic, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and I'm uh, experimenting with a little sound effects here. Here, I tried to get the crack of the bat. Let's see how this sounds. Eh, a little hollow, but check this out: the fastball going into the mitt. I think that's solid. I think that's solid, and we're definitely yeah. In terms of technology, we're <laughs> this is the first time doing it. So if you have any comments, feedback, of course, we always like to get better. And I don't know what else you're doing on Thursday night outside of watching Home Alone for maybe the eighth millionth time or Charlie Brown or whatever is out there. I don't I don't think Boba Fett starts till what, this weekend, Chris? I have no idea. So I... there's two things I'm looking forward to TV-wise this weekend. One is Boba Fett, and two, I'm not sure if there's, if there's any Letter Kenny fans out there, but I'm a big fan of that show, and that comes out on Hulu this weekend. So I'm going to be making uh, Wava oh, no. Cuban-style ribs. Oh, you dropped the dice? <laughs> yeah, I threw them across the room. Um, Cuban-style ribs sound delicious to me, though. Yeah, I'm looking forward right. to we'll that. Go. And that's going to make that's going to start making that as soon as we're done playing this. So we're going to play a doubleheader. So, the, so we're going to get this going right now. And the first thing, how we're going to go, who decides to go first? Chris and I are going to roll the dice, and the highest die wins. So are you ready, Chris? You're rolling one or two. Uh, let's roll two. All right. We got to get used to it anyway, right? Yep. All right, here we go. Here we One, go. two, three. I've got ten. a six. And I rolled a ten. All right. So what does that mean? I you go, go first. first I go okay, first. so you're the visitor? I'm the visitor, yes. So All we're right, playing so... Uh, We're playing at the – if there was a mystical uh, – if there's a thing that exists, we're playing at the Old Tiger Stadium. So there you go. All right. So – Kinsler. Square it off against Bill Gullickson. Big Bill Gullickson. <laughs> I've already decided I'm not pulling him no matter what. He's going nine. I don't All care. Right. So let me uh let me pull up the music here as we uh All right. send some ambiance, of course. Here you go. All right. Here we go. Fly out. 
A one and three? Yep. All right. That's a fly out for your kissing. One down. All right. So one like out. That. All right. Yeah. There we go. Next up is a blank right now who I have the, up there. Uh, Tori Hunter. Tori Hunter. All right. So let's see what Tori Hunter can do here. What do That's we roll? Six, two threes. Three and three. That's a walk. Oh, Tori Hunter. The notoriously walk. patient Tori Hunter. Yeah. All right. All let's right. Run our first. All right. So here we go. Oh, it's Miggy. Oh, Miggy. Come on, Miggy. Come through for me. Like Al Cabrera. Ah, I'll only roll that again because that's not fair. Mm -hmm. All right. There's a beach ball in the field. <laughs> Uh, I got a eight. What is so it? A ground three? out. So it's a ground out. So fielder's choice. Yeah, fielder's choice. So it goes a second. There's two outs. All right, ready. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. That is a pair of twos. Vmar, oh, that's a no, home run. Play. What? Oh, oh well, double play. Yeah, All double right. play. Well, that sounds about right. <laughs> Nothing doing here. We'll call that a ground out. Yep. And so that's, uh, that's a pretty tidy first inning. Yeah, not, not bad for uh, good old Bill Gulks in there. So uh, let me All right. change this up real quick as uh, I get ready. Max Scherzer yeah, will take the hill. Max Scherzer, he's going to be facing Tony Phillips, Lou Whitaker, and Alan Trammell to begin the inning. Okay, and so let's see here. Here comes the pitch. And the roll. We've got a five and a four. That is a pop out. All right. So Tony Phillips, five foot ten, four foot one in the batter's box, pops out. Now it's Sweet Lou Whitaker, future Hall of Famer. Let's see what he does against Mad Max. Four and a two. Strikeout. That sounds about right. Yep. That's a, oh, well, here's a replay. <laughs> oh, strike three. <laughs> All right. All right. So now Tram will up. Two on. Uh, no on. Two outs. What can Tram do? It's a four to six. That is a strikeout. Oh, man. Max Scherzer rings him up, man. All right. This is, he's got his game face on. He is pumped. That's the end of the first inning. Yeah. So I was surprised, Chris, that no one scored there. So I was too. Harrison and I played this, and it was, I think, sixteen to eleven in the fourth inning. Okay. So top of the second. Let me change this up a little bit here. We have ourselves Nick Cash, JD Martinez, and Austin Jackson. Oh. Are we nerds? Yes, we are. Do I care? Not really. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Uh, Bill Gullickson. Getting ready to toss some 88 mile an hour junk up there. All right. <laughs> here we go. Ready? Oops. Yeah. It's the second inning. Three. So I got a double. A double. Lead off double for Nick Castellanos. Where'd he hit it in Old right. Tiger Stadium? I was going to say, that would probably be a home run in Old Tiger Stadium. Or maybe hit it to All deep right. center. Next up is. We've got J.D. Martinez. All right, this is uh, perilous. Yeah, let me try it again. Foul ball. Seven. So that is a triple. A four to three? Yep. Oh, man. That's a one nothing lead for the visitors. Yeah, here we go. Ah. And uh, J.D. Martinez on third. Oof. All right. So... Austin, is it Al or it, who's the, let's just pull up the lineup right here? Yeah, Austin Jackson's up with a man on third, right. nobody out. Austin Jackson, there's some big fans out there. Let's see here three, and that another is one, a double. Another double, yeah, oh, another man. double. Yeah, knocks him around. That scores JD. This and is now, uh, two nothing with no outs. Yeah, this is getting a little. Sketchy. <laughs> but once again, Gullick is staying out there. At least, uh, the rest of the team's in COVID protocol. 
You need to down. Right. Uh, oh, uh, Word Vango says you're playing it wrong. You need to down a shot for every strikeout. It's not <laughs> Word. If <laughs> that's a good call, though. Merry Christmas, by the way, Word. Yeah, thank Thanks you, for Alex while. Avila. Watching. Alex Avila. Yeah. All right, so the lefty. Let's go. Five. A walk. Well, that sounds about right, Alex Avila. All right, Gullickson just setting him up for a a nice Andrew Romine. Double play. All right, let's see here. A fly out. Run fly out. Game. Okay. Yeah. First out. All right. So and out. Kinsler's back up. All right. Let's see what Ian Kinsler can do here. Four and a two. That's a strikeout. So Ian hey. Kinsler strikes out. That is a rare Bill Gullickson strikeout, but we'll take it. Yeah. Two outs. Maybe we can get out of this inning without too much damage. Despite starting off double, triple, double. Walk. But you got to get Tory Hunter. Think, or walk. So, bases are loaded. For Miguel oh. Cabrera. What could go wrong? Oh. What do we got here? Uh, seven. So, a single. One and six? Yep. One. Ah, no, here, here's why we decide. Well, I guess with two outs, that's going to score two runs. Really? Uh, sure. uh, okay. Well, I mean, right. we, could, we could just do it where it's uh, basically like double oh. ground rule, double rules. Just Okay. So two station. runs will score then? Okay. Well, we could do it that way, or we could just do it, like I said, where just you have to be forced in. It's up to okay. you. So let's do forced in. Let's just do... One. So one run? Yeah, one run. Miguel Cabrera with an RBI double to score. Austin Jackson. Uh, Alex Avila slams on the brakes around third. All right. V-Mart with the bases loaded. Oh, wait. All ball. Three. That's a double. Oh, no. That scores. That's two more runs. Two more runs go around. Mickey stops at third. It is five nothing now. And the Tigers, the 2014 Tigers, have batted around. All right. Miguel Cabrera off the plate. No, it's Nick Nick oh. Castellanos. Oh, Nick Castellanos. Yeah, that's right. Hey, it's a home run. No. Oh. Yes, look at that. Look at that right there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not what cheating. Look at that. Six home and six. run. Yeah. Oh man. Three run shot. Three run so shot. Eight. Eight. Castellanos with a double and a three run homer in the same inning. He's on fire. All right. So let's see here. Are you sure you don't want to put Paul Gibson in, Chris? No. Go like <laughs> He's been through this before. <laughs> this ninety one Tigers team could come back from an eight nothing deficit. We're this not is true. scared. All right. All right, J.D. Martinez up with the bases cleared. That was really a rally killer. It was. Five. So that is a walk. Peace. Okay. Austin Jackson up for the second time. He doubled his last appearance. And he pops out. And mercifully, yeah. the inning is over. So. Tigers bat around. It is eight nothing. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six hits, three walks, and eight runs. Score that inning. Oh, was it eight boy. in that inning? Yeah. Yeah. No, eight in that inning. By the way, is it, for anybody that is watching right now, hopefully so let us know if you find this entertaining because I'm having a blast. <laughs> uh well no, Chris. I mean, I know you're not having a blast well, at the moment. Well, but. no, here's what here's what we're counting on. We're counting on Max Scherzer to get really cold during that extended inning. And he's got to come out here, and he's got to face Cecil Fielder, Mickey Tettleton, and Rob Deere. Rob Deere, by the way, who hit 179 in 1991 with a 314 on base percentage. He's one of two players in Major League history to get more than 200 plate appearances with a 180 or below average and a 310 or above on base percentage. Just letting you know. 25 homers that year for Rob Deere. He's going to hit one this inning. But first... Cecil Fielder. All right, so Cecil Fielder. Here's the roll. 
It is a four to one, and that is a walk. Hey, that sounds about right. All Good right, way to so start it. Mickey Tettleton. He's been known to walk a time or two. Let's see. A four to one. Uh, Another no. walk. Max Scherzer. See, I told you, Max was cold. He uh, he couldn't stay angry with that big <laughs> offensive explosion. So here's Rob Deere, as I was saying earlier. 179. One and one. A three-run homer for Rob Deere. Oh, oh, you called it, dude. You called it. Oh, man. That is... That gets us back into this. That's for sure. No outs. No outs. Now we got Pink. 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 <laughs> Pete Incavilia. Nickname Inky. Sure, no. Not because uh, of his name. Because he was a big Pac-Man fan. Six and two... We're six it's a strikeout. Strikeout. Well, Roger, you, you predicted that. Mm -hmm. needed, That's Max Scherzer's third K of the game. Third K. We got Travis Fryman. Six and six, another home Damn run. Damn it! Damn wow. it! Travis Fryman, 1991 was not his best year, but he will take it. Chris what did Fryman do in 91? Fryman hit. That was it. Wasn't his rookie season? No, no, 90 was his rookie season, right? 90 was his rookie I think season. So. Not a bad year at all. 259 with 21 homers, 12 steals, 309 on base, 106 way to runs graded plus for Travis Freeman. And here we have the lightweight, speedy center fielder, Milt Kyler. What can Milt do? Oh, it's a home run. Are you guys get down the line. It's <laughs> The third home run of the inning. Uh, eight to five. Eight six now. Eight six? Is it I think it's eight six. Yeah, it's eight six. Oh, you're right. Is, what? No, let's see. No, I got three run homer and two solo home runs. Okay, it's so it's eight, eight five. Okay, okay. But uh it's coming. Max Scherzer <laughs> visibly angry on the frustrated, mound. screaming on the mic yes. or screaming. He's got one red eye, one bar bottom eye, one blue eye. He's got 18 eyes. All right. We're back up to the top with Tony Phillips. A three and a one is a fly out. All right. That's the second out of the inning. Uh, yeah. I think Avilia struck out. Wait, am I the visitor of the home? I'm not home team. Right. Yeah, you're home team. Sorry. I've screwed this all up. Here we go. Two outs. Sweet Lou Whitaker back up. A two and a five. That is a single. All right. So now it's up to Tram. See what he can do with two outs. A five and a one is a pop out. And that ends the inning. But. All right. But. The 91 Tigers, a.k.a. Brown Fever, they strike back with five. <laughs> we're back to the. We're moving on to the top of the third now. Who's All right, on? I got Alex Avila. All right, let me uh, change up the score. All right, so while we're at the score intermission, Gullickson's getting his warm ups in. Yeah. By the way, uh, for anybody that's going to watch this afterwards, uh, like I said, I'd like to do this again. So feedback from the audience is greatly uh, greatly appreciated. But uh, as we're right around Christmas time, what is for anybody listening out there or watching this later, what is one of your favorite gifts, baseball gifts, or just gifts of all time? And ask that the gift of music. Chris, Chris, what about you? What is your favorite Christmas gift of all time? Oh, man. That's a tough one. I think I have to go back to when I was like seven or eight, and I got um, – the He-Man, it wasn't Castle Grayskull, but it was like the giant three-towered castle. There's a picture uh, of me snake, somewhere. Uh, snake, uh, snake Mountain. Is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. Snake Mountain, yeah. Yeah, I think that was that was just like the perfect age for me. Like I, I wanted all the toys, and I got that, and I got some Transformers and some G.I. Joes. Uh, as an adult, eh, nothing. <laughs> I would say for my favorite gift as a kid was my San Jose Shark jersey that I got. When oh, I was sweet. in six. Ninety one. I was a big fan of the sharks. Yeah, ninety one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ninety one. 
well, maybe their expansion team, uh, expansion team, right around then. But that was my favorite Christmas present. And as an adult, I would have to say, I don't know. I've got a lot of cool gifts, so I really, I don't know. I'm just grateful. I'm, I'm just grateful I get gifts. Period. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this dice game. It's up there. This guest game is this, this, this dice game. I bought this for myself, and then I bought that for you. Yeah, and then if um, and there's a couple of people out there that I'm also sending this to, but they don't know that yet. So anyway, all, all right. right, Sarah. No, not really. Well, was that me. for me or for you? What? Sarah Maria Castilla or Sarah? Maria oh, that was, that, that, that was uh, my yeah. That was that was Sarah rooting you on, Chris. So I think yeah. I appreciate that. All right, here we go. Top of third. Alex Avila at the plate. Ah. Ooh, Tiger's old seats from Word Vango. That's cool. What'd you got? A five and six? Yeah. Sacrifice fly? That's an out. Just, yeah, we'll call it. Pop out. out, right? Yeah, pop out. Yep. So it's one out. Fly out. All right. One down. Andrew Romine. Oh, boy. Here we go. Brother of future Tiger, Austin Romine. All right, let's see. Eight. Five and three. Ground out. Ground out. Oh. Galaxon. He's getting back into a groove. <laughs> Kinsler back up for the third time. He's, he's flown out and struck out. Rough day at the plate so far for Ian. And there's another out. Oh, a Sacrifice one, two, three inning for. A, a one, two, three inning for. Il Galaxon. Wow. All right. All right. So tough day at the dish for kids. All right. We're back up to Cecil Fielder. He led off the last inning with a walk. Let's bottom of the bo- so it's the bottom, bottom of the third of the here. Third. Bottom of the third. Mm-hmm. And, and this uh, reminder that this inning strikeout batter is by, brought to you by Antonio's Rob Pizzeria. Yeah. <laughs> you get a free malted ice cream. Malted ice cream. <laughs> Four and one. Is a walk. Oh, what the dice? I can't see wa- What's that? I couldn't see the dice there for a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Four yeah, there one. it is. Okay, we got a walk. All right. Well, hell, accusing Chris of cheating. I'm not accusing early you on. Cheating. I just accusing <laughs> ac- accusations flying here. The, ac- uh, the accusations uh, are flying there as uh, the inaugural Chris Tigers Radio Festivus. Yeah, Festivus. Classic. All right, Mickey Kelton up. That's a five and a two. We've seen that many times. That's a single. We'll go oh, station to station with these two. Tattleton with a walk really and a single so far. Yeah. What's that? All right. It just sounds like it just sounded weird because you know how often those guys play station to station, yeah. you know. And right. Rob Deere is up for the second time in a row with two men on. Last time he blasted a three-run homer onto the roof in left field. Let's see what happens, Let's see what here. happens here. Come on, Scherzer. Four and three is it's a triple. Rob oh, Deere. Rob Deere, go for the cycle. That's five RBIs already. I. And, and we pulled it within one run. Brown fever. Feel yeah. it. Brown, brown fever is all over it. Here's Incavilia. He struck out in his last at bat. Three and two is a ground out. Now, here's the question. Now, we're just going to say that, that they brought the infield in. So it. Tettleton or Deer remains at third. Yep. You have one out now. All right. Uh, and we're up to Travis Fryman again. He homered in his last at bat. The first of two consecutive homers. Along with Milk Kyler, who hit three home runs in 1991, but homered off <laughs> Max Scherzer. Uh, six and two is a strikeout. Finally, you got some clutch. Mm-hmm. All right, and Milk Kyler with two outs. Trying to follow up that home run. With a one and a two is a double. That's going to score Rob Deere from third and tie the game at eight. RBI double for Milk Kyler. Who would have thought? We got ourselves a barn burner here. Back up to the top of the order with Tony Phillips, who has popped out and flown out. He's really getting under the ball today. I don't know what's uh, going on. Maybe he should. Duck some more. <laughs> Five and three is a ground out. Ugh. And that'll end the inning. But we are tied at eight after three. Yeah. 
head to the fourth inning. Bullpens would be up, but it ain't happening. It's Big yeah. Bill. Right now, Joel Chamberlain is having a perhaps having a tasty snack at the moment. Let's see. All right. So, and we've got who's up? Who's up? Tory Hunter. He has walked twice and scored a run. I did eight. Okay. So, while well, I'm changing the score here for anybody that's watching, <laughs> it's, it's it's a slow night around here. I can tell that, but that's okay. All right. We didn't really – we kind of prompt us. We didn't really – we put this together last minute, and it's how my brain works sometimes. All right. Was it the bet right now, Chris? Torrey Hunter. He's 0 for 0 with two walks. That is strikeout. Is it 6 and 10? Is there 6 yeah, and 4? 6 and 10. 6 and 4 is the strikeout. Gullickson. Gullickson's Five cruising. consecutive outs. Let's see what he does against Miggy. Same thing, huh? What the hell? <laughs> Jeez. He broke off the spitball. <laughs> He's got two outs Bill, here. A sentence I never thought I'd say. Bill Gullison has struck out back-to-back. <laughs> well, let's see what he can do against V-Mart. V-Mart's got a ground out and a double. Yeah, here. He fouled again. Three fouls for... Fouls. Four fouls for V-Mart. Five, four and one. Four and one. That's a walk. Yeah. It's a walk. I'll take there that. you go. That gives us Nick Castellanos, who had a three-run homer in his last at bat, and a double in his first at bat. That is a triple, isn't it? Yeah, that's a triple. That's going to score a run. Oh, you know what? what? No, no, no. That's a that's a that's a sack fly, Chris. I'm sorry. Oh, f- six and five. Oh, yeah. so that's. That's an out. There were two outs, right? Yep. All right. My apologies. Why did I think? I don't know. Oh, four and three is a triple. All I know is my offense has uh, come to a grinding halt, and it sucks. All right. We're heading to the bottom of the fourth now, so it is still tied at eight. All right. So. Still tied at eight? Still tied at eight. Let me change Mm-hmm. Lou Whitaker up here for the third time in the fourth inning. He has again, struck out the... and hit a single. Let's Bill see Gullickson, what he does. By the way. He's throwing a gem now. Six and four is a strikeout. Another strikeout right. for Lou Whitaker. Sure as you're getting back on track here. Now it's up to Trammell, who has struck out and popped out. Three and two. You see that? That's a ground up. All right. Just like to point out that my top of my order is now one for nine. Yeah, but Rob Deere is on fire. That's why I'm. A, 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 I really kind of want to intentionally walk Rob Deere. <laughs> Smack the dice out of my hands. Well, we got Cecil Fielder. He's also has two walks so far. Two down here. What's he do? Six and three is a flyout. So one, two, three inning. Yeah. For Max Scherzer. Yeah. And we are heading to the top of the fifth, tied at eight. Things have settled down here a little bit. Is this an instant classic? <laughs> is this, yeah, I mean, it's like the Field of Dreams game. Except uh, no uh, juice balls. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, Speak for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, all, all right. right. So um, we've got J.D. Martinez oh, yeah. is up. He's got a like triple and a walk. Moment, I'm sorry, what? Like eggnog. Not really. Yeah, it's a little, little thick too sugary. for my taste. Like I'm, yeah, yeah, very definitely too sweet. Meat. Yeah. It's not bad. All right. All right, here we go. J.D. Martinez. Six and two. That is a... What do we have? Six and a two. Six and a two. Strikeout. Ah! Gullickson. That's his... Fifth strike out of the game. Uh, all right. Let's see here. And now we got Austin Jackson. He's uh, doubled and popped out. Okay. All right. Ready. Yeah, we're Bengals having a good time. <laughs> what is V O Y F Y? I have no Porn. idea what that means. Porn bot? Voy? I don't. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, uh, let's see here. 
Porn bots love Matt, Chris. What's up? Who's that bat? Austin Jackson. He's doubled right. and popped out. It's a one uh, and a. Fly out. Pop out. One and five? Yep. That's his second straight pop out. And Gullickson has retired nine of the last ten batters with a walk. Uh, so Alex Avila. Games. Let's see here. Six and three. That is a fly. A out. fly up. Damn it! Son of a bitch. Ah, the end of the fifth. Man, what if we go extras? It could be possible at this point. I don't know, but I think Rob Deere is going to somehow screw me again. So, <laughs> well, or, let's see. Did or I... Mill Kyler? You know what? Mill Kyler can come out of nowhere, and that's okay. He, yeah, you never know. His playing career was cut short due to back injuries. Oh, they'll get you every time. We've talked about that. Yeah. All right. So um, we've got Mickey Tettleton. Um, He's walked and singled. And here he goes for a six and a two, which is a strikeout. Also seems very realistic. Now Rob Deere, a three-run homer and a two-run triple. Early favor for MVP. No dice, no dice, no dice. No whammies, no whammies, stop. Five and two it is a single. Rob Deere. Uh, at least it's a single. He's a double away from the cycle now. Rob Deere. The most unlikely cycle in baseball history? Yes, so more likely. Didn't uh, Bill Buckner hit the cycle once? Yes, he did. I think when he was with the Cubs, I believe. So here we go. Oh, we got one out, right? Yep, one out. Pete and Cavillia. One of the greatest college hitters of all time. Five and three. Is it ground out? We're going to assume. What are we going to assume here? The batter goes, gets the second or the batter's at first? Batter's at first. We'll say it's a, we'll say fielder's choice. Yeah. So batter's at first. And Travis Fryman here to save the inning. He has homered and struck out. Five and five is a double. Uh-oh. That's a faithful decision there. That makes men on second and third rather than a run scored. All right. Now it's up to Kyler. Let's see. You predicted oh, no. greatness. No. no. One and three is a fly out. Yes. That'll end the fifth inning. Woo. Still not at it five. Man. Five's around. I think we're going to play one game instead of two games, Chris, because this, yeah. is, this is this is a uh, pretty in, uh, atten- a game that I did not expect to be. I'll be honest with you. I did not expect to be this intense. Yeah, I mean, we, only, we had to fight. As far as dice games go. <laughs> yeah. six. Okay, so top All six, right, eight, so, eight. And you've got <sighs> Andrew Romine leading off. Here comes the pitch from Bill Bullockson. One and a five yeah, is a pop out. <laughs> Let me just uh, fly. Let's see. Pop out, fly out, ground out, fly out, strike out, strike out, walk, fly out, strike out, pop out, pop out, pop out. Gullickson. Fire right spinning. now. Bill, Gil- Bill Gullickson, ladies and gentlemen, spinning gold. <laughs> he, he gave up eight in that second inning. Nothing since. Nothing since. All right. Here we go. Nobody scores eight in an inning off Bill Gullickson twice. Ian Kins are up for the fourth time. Fly out, strike out, fly out. 3-3. Three, three. A walk. All right, I'll take that. For sure. And uh, that leads to Tory Hunter. Two walks and a strikeout so far. Five and a four. Pop out. Ah, come on, man. <laughs> It's up to Mickey. All right, Mickey. Fielder's choice versus a single strike height. Oh, yeah, that thing's sweet. Five and six. Sack fly? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Just a fly out. Gullickson. Uh, Man. All right. Out of the six. 
Here we go with uh, back to the top of the order. Tony Phillips is 0 for 3. Pop out, fly out, ground out. Here we go. What can Tony do for you? Let me just set this up. All right. Here's the roll. A 1 and a 2 is a double. Lead off double for Tony Phillips. This could be the rally we needed. Now what's up to Lou Whitaker? He is one for three with two strikeouts and a single. Oh. Oh, boy. That's a foul ball. Yeah. For those that, you, if you're scoring at home, we, do, we are keeping it score. Uh, all right, here we go. Lou Whitaker. Five and one. Pop out. It's a pop out. Oh, Lou could not advance. Tony Phillips. That's up to Tram. He was 0 for 3. Strike out, pop out, ground out. Some might say he's due. <laughs> 1 and 4 it is a walk. Oh, boy. Cecil Fielder up now with two men on. It's not a place you want to be in 1991, much like most of Detroit. All right. Five and two is what is five and two? Five and two is a single. Single. Base is loaded oh. for Mickey Tettleton, ladies and gentlemen. His stance, everyone loves to copy it. Were you gonna do uh, any bullpen? I might call the bullpen. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm. You know what? I am gonna call the bullpen right now. You gonna switch? You bring a lefty switch. to bring a lefty to put uh, Tettleton hitting from the right side. Yes. I don't know if that's exactly. a smart decision that, or not. I don't. You know what? I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with Phil Coke. I'm bringing Phil Coke for this. Phil Coke. Let's see. Phil I haven't kept track. Let's see. Scherzer. One, two, three, four, five, six strikeouts, One, two, three walks, and eight runs in six and one third innings. Yep. All right, Phil Coke against Mickey Tettleton. Let's see what happens here. Base is loaded. It's a three two ground out. Yes. I guess we're going to call that a force out at home, right? Yeah, four side at home. So that's two outs. Now all Phil Coke has to do is get Rob Deere, who already has he's three for three, five RBIs, a double shy of the cycle. What did Rob Deere do for you? Six five sacrifice fly. Yes, but with two outs, it doesn't Phil count. Coke gets it done, ladies and gentlemen. Phil Coke. We know it's not real, but still. Let's <laughs> <be>. <laughs> All right. Heading to the top of the seventh now. Top of the seventh. Still tied at eight. That was dicey, but the bullpen that came was... through for it. <laughs> Pun intended, Chris? Yes. All right. All right. So uh, so we do the – we're doing the seventh inning stretch here. Let's uh, recap. Mm -hmm. let's, re re let's recap this. Right I think now. we're half so... an inning away from the seventh inning stretch. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's the bottom of the seventh. You're right. All right. So – here you have Victor Martinez up. He's got a double and a walk, two RBIs. All right, here we go. Five five double. 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 His second double of the game. He needed that. He absolutely needed that. Pinch runner coming in. Yeah, you know what? There's gonna be a pinch runner actually. <laughs> Who is it? I'm going to sub in Raja Davis. Oh. All right. Dice ball strategy. Okay. Now Nick Castellanos, the other favorite for MVP so far. He's got a double and a three-run homer. Oh, wait. Hey. Ah, damn it. Six and three is... Fly out. Six and three. One out. Fly out. All right. Let's see. 
And we got J.D. Martinez. He's got a triple and a walk <laughs> and a strikeout. Word isn't kidding. That was probably the best half inning of Coke ever. <laughs> hey, man. He was solid in that 2012, uh, 2012 postseason. He was. Who was that back, Chris? I'm sorry. Uh, JD. Okay. He's got a, an RBI triple, a walk, and a strikeout. Five and five is That's a double, double, isn't it? Yeah. It's an RBI double for JD Martinez. Breaks the tie. Breaks the tie. Scores Rajay Davis. Smart idea to smart idea to pitch run for Martinez there. So now it is now. Austin Jackson up. He's got a double All and two right. pop outs. What out? Three and out. Two. So that's a ground out. Ground out. Two down. All right. It's up to Alex Avila. A walk. And can Andrew Romine get his first hit of the game? He has flown out, grounded out, and popped out. And he walked. He walked. Oh, man. All right. Ian Kinsler with the bases loaded. This could get ugly. Come on, Kinsler. Four. One and three. Fly out. Oh. Fly out. It was spinning around one, which would have been a home run, but it spins. <laughs> great slam, yeah. Damn it. So oh. Ian Kinsler is now 0 for 4 with a walk. A lot of left on base, too. Yeah. Oof. That could have been. That could have ended it for me, I think. But Brown Fever still has a chance. It is now. Yeah. It, uh, Bob the seventh inning no, no, it's time for the seventh inning stretch. As I update the scoreboard. Anybody, uh, we have only a few people watching. Oh, that's kind of makes people dizzy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, <laughs> yeah, don't apologize. I want to vomit. All right. So, bottom third. Anybody, uh, who, uh, yeah, uh, for anybody else uh, who's watching out there again, I thoroughly am enjoying myself. This, this is this is a nice change of pace. I'm sure, people would want to hear us talk, but or maybe perhaps pay attention to the podcast, but no podcast this week. And then next and next week, no show at, at all. But this is not even a show. This is just something I want to do and try out. It doesn't even exist. You exactly. dropped all of this. Yeah. The, in fact, this is like Super Mario Brothers 2, where it was a whole dream. Anyway. Oh, yeah. All right. Obscure reference. Bottom of the seventh. And all right. uh, you know what? I'm going to bring in a pitcher. I'm, I'm going to bring in a reliever. Okay. I'm going to bring in the eighth inning. I'm going to bring in Al Albuquerque. Al Al. All right. So Al Al against the bottom third of the line up here. Peter Cavilla was 0 for 3, a strikeout and two ground outs. Four and five. Here's a pop out. Al Al got him on one of those sliders. Backed up on him, but it was still good enough. Travis Fryman, sneaky good game, home run, strikeout double. One and two, another double. Yeah. Could really use a hit here for Milk Kyler. He's got a home run and a double already. It's might be getting greedy here, asking for anything more. Five and six, sacrifice fly. So here's a question. Do we move five into third for that? Yeah, we yeah, we should. That, okay. Yeah. It's not technically a stitch sacrifice fly, but yeah, in real life, that but, would happen. You know, Sparky, Sparky loves a sacrifice, so yeah. if need be. Need and to it's up to Tony Phillips. He doubled his last at bat, trying to get a big two out knock here. No dice, no dice. Six and six. Damn it! A two run Damn home it. run. Damn oh. it! <laughs> and Brown Fever retakes the lead, ten to oh. nine. Here at the bottom of the seventh. What oh. a big blow by Tony Phillips! Really, one of the more underrated players in baseball. In baseball history, one of the best war seasons in yeah, best free agent in, in Tigers history, arguably. <sighs> yes, maybe inarguably. I don't know. Uh, who scored there? Oh, yeah, Feynman. All right, that's uh, that's big. That's they really awesome. did that for Gullickson. Yeah, they did that for Gullickson. Big one back for the Gipper. That's tough for Al Al though. 
He tried to bury yeah. that slider under Tony's hands and that wasn't yanked it right over there. All right, Lou Whitaker with two outs. Six and two is strikeout. Strikeout. But huge two up blow for Tony Phillips. It's and now 10 to 9. 10 to 9. 91 Tigers. Heading to the top of the eighth here with Tory Hunter at bat. Eight. Uh, 91 Tigers. Okay. Multitasking. What about, about pitches? Yep. Yeah. Uh, you still stick with Galton? Galton's all the way. I don't care. All the way. All right. Do you have? Because remember, you do have Mike Hammond. I don't care. This is how you win twenty games. <laughs> Just stick him. Maybe out I'll there. bring him in a minute. Yeah. I, I wonder if uh, Jerry Don Gleason's on this team too. <laughs> I'll let you obscure uh, Tiger references. All right. So, Tory Hunter. Six and a three. Six and three. Is fly a out. Fly out. All right. Rats. All right. Miguel Cabrera. He is one for four. Two for a big yeah. hit. Fly out. Or foul ball. Another fly ball. Or foul. I've never seen fly, fly ball. Wow. Six, Another three. fly out. Yeah, that's fly, fly out. out. Three uh. straight fly outs. Gullickson really attacking at the top of the zone with his 88 mile an hour fastball. And He's using Vaseline. Yeah, we got V-Mart now. <laughs> mm. Five, Five and three. Eight. Five and three. That is... Ground out. <sighs> oh. Part of the order goes down meekly here at the bottom, at the top of the eighth. Let's see if the home team can add on some runs to put this one away. Some insurance runs. I also am going to call in another pitcher. Oh, wow. Because uh, I'm like that. And let's see here. Uh, eight. So I'm going to bring in. I'm going to bring in uh, Joe, uh, Joba Chamberlain. Jabba. The Jabba rules. To face. Alan Trammell, Cecil Fielder, Mickey Tattleton. Not a bad idea. Bring in the slider monster. Here we go. Tram. 0 for 3 with a walk. 6 and 5. Sacrifice fly. That's one down. Take that. We move on to Cecil Fielder. He is one for two with two walks. Four and two is a strikeout. There you go, Joba. Jabba. Nice work. Jabba, nice. And it's up to Mickey Tettleton here. Let's see what he can do. Six and two is just another strikeout. Jabba. Jabba, get it Solid. done. Nice, nicely worked. Nice job. Needed that. Well, here we go. It all comes down all to right. this. Yes. Mike Hinneman is warming. He is warming up, though, right? Please but tell me, at least he's Bill Gullickson. What's that? You, he's, please tell me Hinneman's warming up, right? He's No, he's warming. But Gullickson's out there. He's lost 10 pounds of sweat today. He's uh, earned this. His team right. is winning 10 to 9. This is old school baseball. He's got to face off against Nick Castellanos, J.D. Martinez, and Austin Jackson. Here we go. Home run! Yeah! What, oh, what was yeah. the number? Six and six. Oh, Gullickson. That's got to oh. hurt. Nick Castellanos with a second bomb of the game. Tying it up. Oh, man. We're looking at extras oh, now. Yeah, we're going to have to – might have to settle this in extras, but you, you're at the bottom – well, we'll see what All happens. Right. J.D. Martinez is up. Gullick is still in there. Manager is asleep. Four and five. Pop out. All right. That's one out. Austin Jackson. Double pop out, pop out, ground out. 
One double. And a two. A double. Austin Jackson. Austin Jackson coming through the clutch. This is getting scary. Two and three. The ground out. Ground out for Alex Avila. Yep, two outs. Two outs. It all comes it down up to Andrew Romine. Oh, I'm going to call a sub. You know what? I'm going to call a oh. sub uh, batter in. Pitch hitter. Pitch hitter. You know what I'm going to call in? Who's that? Donnie Kelly, baby. DKB. Calling Donnie Kelly. Two outs. He's gonna be your shortstop, apparently. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, I'm gonna because he has played shortstop before, so mm -hmm. utility guy, he could do that. Yeah, yeah. All if right, not, here we go. I can replace him either with uh, Danny Worth or uh, Suarez. Oh, there you go. Here we go. Four and two. Is that a double? No, it's a strikeout. Here we go. 10-10, heading to the bottom of the ninth. I wonder how many games in MLB history have been 10-10, heading into the bottom of the ninth. Oh, you know what? You do a quick search? No, I'm not doing that well. Well, you're updating? Let me see. Yeah, I'm updating. Ba -ba. Be nice right. to have some hold music. Oh, you want some uh, hold music? I got some. Game. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to find that. It's all right. Let's just get this over with. All right. Yeah. You still have job out there? I still have job out there. I'm not going to put Joe Nathan. Oh. I'm not a big fan. Uh, Joe Nathan was not a fan, either, but he did pick up 36 saves, I think, that year. Well, guess who's up? Rob Deere. Rob Deere. You know what? Uh, all right, you know, I'm going to stick with Jabba. I'm going to stick with Jabba. Rob Deere is three for four. Triple, homer, singer, single. Double shot of cycle. Let's see what he can do here. Three, three. He is a walk. Well, he did do that. Lead off uh, walk. Got to hate those leadoff walks. Pete Incavilla has done exactly nothing in this game. Strike out, grind out, grind out, pop out. And he rolls a two and a four. Strikeout. Nice. Big strikeout there for Jabba. We're up to Travis Fryman now. Mm -hmm. He homered early. He's got two doubles. This could be his chance to steal the MVP award. Come on. Five and two is a single. A single. Oh, boy. Um, two men on. Two men on. Boy. Four for five day for Fryman. We got Milt Kyler. Homer, double. Fly out, fly out. 6-2. Strikeout. Strike out. Oh. oh. Comes down here to Tony Phillips. Tony Phillips. Wait, Started wait, out over three. This is double and a two-run homer in his last two at-bats. I'm going to... I'm gonna... No, no. Okay, I'm gonna stick. Up. I'm, I'm gonna ride him out. I'm gonna ride him out. Here we go. Here comes the pitch. A six and a four is a strikeout. Yes. And we. Yes. Are headed to extras. Oh man, we were going to extra innings, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Good lord. I, yeah. Extra innings. Top of the odds. Wow. Top ten. Ten ten. Yeah, I am running out of space on my scorecard, but you know what? Bill Gullickson still got juice in his arm. Let's go. Oh, he's going old school, huh? That's right. No Henneman. No Henneman. Wow. All right. No Henneman. Gullickson to face Kensler, who's 0 for 4 with a walk. And he's a strikeout. Uh, strikeout. Yeah, strike him out. 6 and 4 is a strikeout. Who's up now? Hunter. He's 0 for 3 with two walks. Ah, foul ball. 3 and 1. Fly out. 
I am. And Miggy as a single. That's it. In five plate appearances. No. To Miggy Luck again. And he hit a double. Ooh. Miguel Cabrera with a double. Showing up when it matters. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, it's Rajai now. Rajai's second at bat. I have a good feeling about this. Chris, I have a good feeling about this. All right. Five and three. Ground out. Ground out. Ground out. Uh, We are through ten innings. Ten innings. Tied at ten. This is a – you know what? I I, got to say, Chris, I did not expect this to be this close. You still have job out there. I'm going to go ahead and put Joe Nathan in. All right. Joe Nathan, his first batter is Lou Whitaker, who he struck out three times and has a single. Tough game for Slew. Slew. Sweet Lou. Here we go. Five and six. Hey, sacrifice fly with nobody on. I'll take it. Fly out. Trammel, 0 for 4 with a walk. 6 and 1, single. This first scratch of the game. Now it's up to Cecil Fielder. He is 2 walks, a single. No power yet, but it's in there. We all know it is. Yeah. One and four. Oh, it's a walk. It's a walk, man. Oh boy, Joe Nathan, not making it easy for the fans. Yeah, he might do a gesture afterwards. We'll see. Yes, and the Tiger Stadium fans might gesture right back. Yeah, the Bleacher Creatures. Yeah, Bleacher Creatures don't put up with no nonsense. Tattleton, it's a single and a walk. Hasn't done much lately. Three and two, ground out. Uh-oh. There goes that man again. <laughs> Mr. Rob Deere, ladies and gentlemen. Two men on. One and two. A double. Ah, a double. Over. That is a walk-off ah. for Rob Deere, ladies and gentlemen. And the Brown Fever wins. 11 to 10. Rob Deere. Wow. Rob Deere goes five for six with a cycle and six RBI. Rob Deere, who again hit 179 that year. Come through. What a game. What a game. You know what? That was thank you. Well played, Chris. That was uh that was a lot of fun. That was a a blast to play and uh hopefully you liked it and if you're still watching thank you for watching <laughs> but that was that was a lot <laughs> i didn't know what to expect honestly it's it remind me of one of those games of risk i used to play when i was a kid or my early 20s rather with some of my friends and we played till like three or four o'clock in the morning playing risk because that's what we did but have whatever you celebrate happy holidays merry christmas all that jazz and thanks for tuning in and like i said sunday we'll be giving away the, two of these sets to a lucky fan out there. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. A, I, yeah, it, it is a lot of fun. And I found these originally on Itsy, Freestorm Creations, Creations, rather. There's a link I did put on Twitter out there so I can share for anybody who's interested. Or, but I, you know what, Chris, I haven't played Satamac in a long time. I haven't played in, it's been about 10 years. I used to play with Perry uh, at lunch a lot. And, and uh, he introduced me to Dice Ball as well, the board game. It's a little bit more elaborate than this, but still, uh, <laughs> uh, Word Van Gogh says, very lifelike. Might be an option in case the CBA goes nowhere. Uh, well, hopefully, <laughs> this isn't the best we can do, but uh, if we do it again, we'll uh, we'll do it up a little bit fancier. But this was fun. I like the kind of uh, DIY aesthetic. Yeah, 
I mean, it, once we get our Twitch channel set up, I have to talk to a couple people in our Discord channel that who who offer to volunteer. So hopefully, like I said, you have a great weekend. Enjoy the holidays. Hang out with your family, what have you. I'm going to go make some Cuban ribs for tomorrow. So that's going to be a guava barbecue paste. So looking forward mm. to it. And we'll see you. We'll see you next year. <laughs> I say that every year, but that's such a <laughs> dumb joke, and it's still the dad joke inside me. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy holidays. Nice. Happy Hanukkah. We have some uh, shout out to I can show you know what I'm doing this real quick. Shout out to Mark Kean from Tigers Minor League Tracker. Brandon Day for Bless You Boys. Trevor from Bless You Boys, who is in town. Trevor Hoof is in town. He's in the house. So he told me he wanted to meet up. Shout out to oh, nice. everybody in the Discord. David Fays, uh, uh, Ward Vango, who's been watching. So shout out to him. Steve goes. There's a lot of people in there. Some really cool people. Shout out to Melissa from the Tiger Report, who went out to a couple games this year. And also wanted to extend our best wishes to Emily Walden, who yesterday, she seemed like she's going some stuff. Uh, she posted on Twitter. And number of good vibes for her. Hopefully everything's okay. And... We also wanted to send out the 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 camera of RT, the family uh, passed away yeah. going to see his father. He was only 48 years old, and it was reported that he had a brain tumor. So it's a, kind That's, of a bad yeah. way to end this. Uh, the, yeah, a tragedy. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah, I mean, it was unfortunate. I mean, the Tigers seemed to really, everybody seemed to really like Camara Barty. So, uh, yeah, just a real tragedy there. And definitely a sad way to go out in the, the end of the year. But we did, you know, I think. Just uh, I thank you to you, Ralio, for putting together another outstanding, fun year. We went to, I don't know, 40 minor league games, something like that. Um, and we had a lot of great guests, many of them, uh, you know, procured by you. But we, you know, I'm trying to think. We had J.J. Cooper. We had uh, Kylie McDaniel. We had Alexis Britnicki. We had Shakia. We had uh, all Janice. the... the Janice, all the great the Chicago bloggers. I don't want to forget anybody. I'm going to because I didn't write everybody down, but... Uh, just, yeah, uh, a lot of great guests this year, and hopefully we'll bring more of that next year. Yeah, shout out to Youper for jumping in and helping us out. Absolutely. Because admittedly, the last few months were kind of a, between everything's going on, burnout and what have you, but it was a good job. Uh, shout out to Jake and James Shipman, who were vital to the early part of the, the Tiger Mind Report stuff, and we are working on our top 20 list right now. Uh, I'm finishing with the best curveballs. I've been admittedly behind, but like I said, there's going to be a lot more content coming here at Motor City Bengals in our top 20 list. We I mean we have a lot of should be out tomorrow. Oh, okay. So we're going to <laughs> sneak preview. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to kind of drop it on people, but uh, yeah, should be out tomorrow. Yeah, we'll have to. Yeah, yeah, there'll be some. Uh, there'll be a cool graphic with that too. And I'm sure of it. Um, but yeah, this is. And by the way, our top 20. I mean, we went to a lot of games. So um, yeah, we went to a lot bit. of games. We can talk to our top twenty, and we can say a lot of we can say a lot of it. So that top twenty might look different than a top fifty that might just that just dropped. That's crazy. So, um, and you know what, word, you are a classy individual, man. And thanks, thanks for the compliment, and thanks for always sticking around. We really appreciate it. And yeah. so, everyone, safe and happy holidays, everybody. Yeah, we'll see you next year. <laughs>